Wow, I'm live. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Liam and I work for a charity called the RNLI. Now, the RNLI stands for Royal National Lifeboat Institution. And the RNLI is the charity that saves lives at sea. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Hello, Liam speaking. Oh, hi. Is your head teacher? Yes, yes, I do teach people about water safety. You'd like me to teach the children from your school about water safety? Yeah, I could do that. And you'd like me to say hello to some of the children watching too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thanks for calling. Bye. Wow, that was a surprise. That was your head teacher. And they would like me to teach you about water safety. And that's what I do. So that's good. And I'll start doing that now. Okay, so before I start, I'd like you to have a think about the places that you like to go that are near water. Places that you used to go before we had to just stay in our houses all the time. Have a think. So, hopefully, some of you would have thought about lakes. Some of you might have thought about ponds, maybe rivers. Or if you live on the coast, you might have thought about going down to the beach. And all of those places are lovely places to go. But when we're having fun, we should also remember that we have to be safe. And that's what we're going to look at today. And we're going to look at the very first thing on this list, which is stop and think. Can you see that? Stop and think. When we're near any water, we should be thinking, firstly, that the water is cold and actually can be very cold. And it can give you something called cold water shock, which can severely impact your ability to swim, which is why it's so dangerous. But we'll talk about that more in another video. The second thing is that water is always moving. There might be currents that you can't see. Or if you're actually in the sea, there might be really big waves. Whoa! Oh, oh I actually spilled a bit. Oh no. Don't tell anyone. And the other thing to remember is that the edges of water, so river banks, cliffs, they can be unstable and slippery, so they're dangerous too. So it's important don't to go don't go too close to the edges. Okay, so I'm going to draw a picture now. I'm a bit nervous about this bit though because I'm not very good at drawing. So wish me luck. I want you to actually say it out loud. Say good luck, Liam. Did you say it? I hope so. Okay, here it goes. Make sure you can all see it. There we go, perfect. So here is the water's edge. It's going well so far. And here is the water. Does that look like water? Yeah, that'll do. Let's make it a nice sunny day, shall we? Because we all like sunshine, don't we? Does that look like a sun or does that look like a rubbish flower? Or a rubbish spider? <laughs> That's a sun, that'll do. Okay, and on the water's edge here, we have got little Johnny, who is about to jump in. Smile. But what Johnny doesn't know is what might be underneath the water. So we're going to put a question mark down here. And that's what we're going to look at now. Let me show you some things that I actually found in the sea. I'm pleased with that. 
So, ready? Let's check out the first thing I found in the sea. Can you see this on there? This bit of rusty old metal with spiky ends. That doesn't look very nice, does it? So, I found that in the sea. Now, imagine if you were going into some water or if you accidentally fell in and you landed on that. That wouldn't be very good. Ouch. What about this one? This bit of chunky concrete and brick. Imagine jumping in and hitting your foot on that. That wouldn't feel very good. And the other thing that we never truly know, just by looking at the surface of water, by looking at the top of the water, is how deep it might be. It might be really deep, and if we've got cold water shock and can't swim very well, that can be really dangerous. Or if it's really shallow, we might hit the bottom and injure ourselves. So we're gonna have a bit of fun now. I've got a friend here who's going to jump into this jug for me to see if he touches the bottom. First of all, we're going to put in some underwater hazards into the jug. We've got a stone with a nice rainbow painted on it. Pop that in. Oh God, let me smash the jug. I'll be a bit more gentle with this next one. And just for fun, we're going to put in this cool old toy car. There we go, oh, it's upside down. Let's see if you recognize my friend who's going to jump in. Do you know who this is? Yeah, Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. Scraggy. Okay, Scooby. So you're going to jump into this jug and we're going to see if your feet hit the bottom and hit the underwater hazards, okay? Okay. Will you go on three? Yeah. Ready, Scooby? One, two, three. Scooby, go. What? You're scared. Well, I know that's the point, Scooby. We're just trying to show the children watching that jumping into shallow water can be really dangerous. And you're only made of plastic. Can you please just do it for me? Okay, thank you. This time, one, two, three. It was too quick. I couldn't even see. Did you see it? Oh, he floats. So I splashed my face a little bit and my laptop. I hope it's still working. Okay, thanks, Scooby. That was a bit of fun. Let me see what we've got uh, next. Oh no, the phone's ringing again. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Hello, Liam speaking. Oh, hello, head teacher. You'd like me to stop messing around with Scooby-Doo. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. And oh, and you'd also like me to say hello to some of the children watching now. Yep, all right, I'll do that. Sorry about Scooby, bye. That was your head teacher. They were a bit annoyed that I've been messing around with toys. Okay, let's have a look, let's see who's watching. Okay. Oh, there's lots of people watching. That makes me a bit nervous when I think about that. I'll just keep going, I think. Okay, so we've got Harry, who is eight years old, and he's watching from Exmouth. Hello, Harry. We've got a Jude. He is six, and he's watching from Swanage. Hello, Jude. I've got a little boy called Jude. We've got Billy, who is eight years old, and he is watching from Mattershaw. That's quite close to where I live, that is. Hello, Billy. And we've got Elodie, who is six, and Arthur, who is two, who are watching from Margate. Hello, Elodie. Hello, Arthur. Hope you're enjoying it. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Um, what have we got next? Let's have a look. So, oh, there's someone at the door. Don't go anywhere. I just need to go and answer that really quickly. I'll be back in a second. Oh. It was the postman. I wasn't expecting a delivery today. And this, 
parcel, it says Armline Lifeboats on the side, and on the top, it has a Respect the Water sticker. Would you like to see what's in the box with me? I love parcels, let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, there's a note. What does this say? Dear Liam, this is a surprise parcel for all the children watching. Please show the children everything. Some of the things in the box are funny, and some things in the box will be fun to do after the video. Thank you, Liam. From head teacher. God, your head teacher is surprising me today. Wow, oh, that's nice. Let's see what we've got. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? What? Your head teacher told me off of playing with Scooby-Doo, but then sent me this. Your head teacher is funny. What have we got next? Oh, here's something to do after the video, after you finish watching me. It says, watch a cool video of an RNLI lifeboat. That's a great idea. I love watching cool videos of RNLI lifeboats. There's some really good ones of them smashing through waves. And if you look on the link below the video, you'll be able to see some of those videos for yourself. They're really good. So remember that one. I'll put that up on the board so you remember. What's next? What have we got next? A digestive biscuit. Well, I'm a bit peckish, I suppose. Thanks, head teacher. Hmm. I need a drink now. Okay. Ah, oh, something else to do after the video. This is a good one. It says, look at the RNLI Spot the Dangers poster. That's a really good idea. Again, we'll put the link for that below the video. So if you get your grown up to help you, you can click on that and you can find a couple of posters that look a little bit like this one. And it's a bit like a Where's Wally game, but instead of finding Wally, you have to look at all the dangerous things that are happening on the poster. Ah, oh, great idea. Put that one up on the board too, shall we? What's next? Stretch Armstrong. I love Stretch Armstrong. God, that's hard work. Oh, I think I'm gonna break him. Hello everyone. Stretch Armstrong. Ah, and we've got one more thing. Ah, something else to do after the video. It says, draw an RNLI lifeboat and send it to us. That's a great idea. In fact, if you send it via direct Facebook message to the RNLI, I'll have a look through all the pictures. You can draw them, colour them, paint them, and I'll find three good ones to show on next week's video. Does that sound like a plan? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing all those. Well, that was a nice surprise. Thanks, head teacher. And actually, I've just realised that we need to come to the end of the video. Um, let's do a quick recap. Obviously, this is for a time when we're all allowed to go out and do all the things that we like doing normally, going to nice places, going for walks and things like that. But remember, the next time you're near a lake or a pond, a river or the sea, remember the first thing you need to do is to stop and think. Stop and think. Think that the water is cold. It's always moving. The edges might be unstable. And remember, there might be underwater hazards. And you can make it safer by going to places that we're meant to swim, like swimming pools or lifeguarded beaches. Great. Before I go, I would just like to say thank you 
to all of the amazing RNLI crews that are keeping our life service running in this difficult time. And also thank you to all of the emergency services in the UK and healthcare workers who are working so hard to keep everything going. Um, remember to look at all of these activities after the video. The links for these are below. We've got watch a cool video of an RNLI lifeboat, spot the dangers, and draw an RNLI lifeboat and send it to us. And I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thanks for watching, everyone.